Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well out there. Today I'm gonna to be walking you through what I consider to be a fix for one of the more annoying habits on the Garmin Instinct watch. Now first let me start by saying I'm using the Garmin Instinct Solar. It doesn't matter if you're using one of the solar models of the watch or non-solar models, this video should work for everybody. I'm also using the watch as delivered from Garmin. I haven't made any adjustments to any of the hotkeys. Now it's important for me to say that because we're getting ready to adjust the hotkeys to make this fix. So what exactly is the thing that I think is annoying? Let's go and do something on the watch. It can be anything. Um, let's go press the menu button. Let's go change some kind of setting. So we're gonna go to settings. We're gonna go to system. Let's do units. And let's change my distance units from miles to kilometers, for example. I've made a change on the watch. Now I have to press the back button to get back to my main watch face. One, two, three, Four times I have to press the button to get back to my watch face. You'll find that as you're doing things on the Garmin Instinct watch, I feel like I'm constantly pressing this back button to get me back to the main watch face. Garmin actually gives you the ability to create a hotkey that will do this for you. Instead of pressing it multiple times, you can press one button or a series of buttons to get you back to that. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So let's press and hold the menu button. Let's go down to settings. Let's use the up or down button to get to system. Press system, and let's go down to hotkeys. Now, as delivered from Garmin, there are certain hotkeys that are set for you. For example, if I press and hold the GPS button, it'll take me to my GPS. If I press and hold the back button, it'll take me to my set settings. If I press and hold the down button, it'll take me to my ABC, my altimeter, barometer, and compass. But there are certain combinations in here that they don't have a value for. For example, GPS and up does nothing. Backlight. I'm sorry, back and light together do nothing. Back and up together do nothing. What you can do is let's take one of these. What would be a good one? I recommend taking one of them that currently has no settings at all. So maybe uh, GPS and up. I'm gonna choose this one. And instead of it being off, we're gonna set it to widgets. Now remember that the GPS and up button is going to take us to widgets. Now watch what that does for us. If I press the back button to get out of there, I can keep pressing back, just like we did before to get to my main screen, or let's do the same thing we did earlier. Let's go into settings, let's go to system. We can really go anywhere we want. I'm just gonna do the same thing we did before. Let's go to units, let's change my units back to miles. Now, I'm gonna press the GPS and up button at the same time, it takes me right back to my home screen. It's doing that because we set it up as a hotkey. The widgets hotkey will take you back to your home screen. Now, why they called it widgets instead of just calling it home screen, I can't answer that question. But that's a quick way to set that up as a hotkey. You don't have to use GPS and up, you can use any of the hotkeys available out there. But if you set it to widgets, whenever you press it, no matter where you are on your watch, it'll take you back to your home screen. That's a whole lot easier than sitting there and pressing the back button. I hope that makes sense. I hope it helps you out. As always, if you've got any questions, post them in the comments. I'd be happy to help you. Thanks for watching.